Today we're going to be bringing a bit of life into your notebook slash workspace using a tool called Notion AI. Notion AI is a collaboration between a company called Notion and ChatGPT. If you don't know what Notion is, it's a productivity tool that you can use to take your notes, create to-do lists, work on your calendar, uh, create a project, collaborate with your friends, etc. What Notion did was bring in the power of ChatGPT into its workspace to give a bit of that AI magic into the mix. Today we're going to have a look at all those different applications within Notion and see what all the fuss is about. And as always, we're going to use a real example just to see how it copes in a real life scenario. A little disclaimer before we dig in is that Notion AI is free for the first 20 or 40, I believe, prompts. But after that, your free trial ends and you'll need to pay $10 a month for uh, the functionality. And the second disclaimer is that ChatGPT used within Notion AI is actually the version 3 of ChatGPT, whereas what we know and what we've used in previous tutorials is the free tier, which is ChatGPT 3.5, and the paid tier, which is ChatGPT 4. So keep that in mind. And disclaimer number three is that you can use Notion wherever you want. So you can use the web version or you can use the mobile app version for iOS and Android. And they've also created apps for both Mac and Windows. And I can tell you that they're all really great. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be sticking to the Mac version of the application. So let's jump inside and see what's going on. So let's start off from uh, creating a brand new page and naming it cookbook, since that's what we're going to be building today. As you click into the next field uh, below the title, you'll see a little prompt which says press space for AI and slash for commands. So the slash for commands is the standard Notion feature that will give you different ways to format your text. Whereas when you press space, that's where the AI magic is revealed to you. So you will see a bunch of different suggestions such as brainstorm ideas, blog post, outline, social media post, press release, creative story, essay, etc, etc. We're going to start off with creating a title for our cookbook because the one we have right now, which is just cookbook, is perhaps just a little bit too generic. So let's ask Notion AI to brainstorm ideas for a pizza cookbook title and we'll ask it to give us 10 examples. Here we go, 10 different examples each one in a different line. I would argue that perhaps the title should be a little shorter, so let's ask Notion AI to uh, shorten them and make them a little bit snappier. And so here we get 10 new examples, and I think I like the fourth one the most. So let's see how easy it is for Notion AI to customize our page. So what we're going to do is ask it to rename the title of the page to that fourth title and erase everything else. Let's see how it copes. That was a fairly good attempt. Um, it hasn't changed the title, it's changed the subheading to our Heavenly Pizza title. So I'll just manually change the title, but, but that was a good start to our experiment. Next, let's have a look at how Notion AI works with generating new text. So the first thing you'll see in any book is a table of contents. So we'll ask AI to write an outline for our book. And the result is fairly pleasing. We've got an introduction, pizza recipes, pasta dishes, main courses, side dishes and desserts. So everything that goes with pizza is in that book. So that's all very nice. Next up, let's talk about dough. You can't make a pizza without dough, so let's create a page about dough. And let's allow Notion AI to write the whole page for us with a very generic prompt of write a page about dough. And it seems to have done a fairly good job of it. We've got the techniques, the variations, the ingredients, and the introduction. What I want to do is show you another tool within Notion AI, which allows me to modify the tone of the writing. What we're going to do is select the first paragraph, click the little six dot button next to it, ask AI, and we're not going to navigate to the change tone option, and we're going to select casual. So in this case, we get something like dough is a super flexible mix of flour, water and other stuff that's used as a base for all kinds of awesome baked goods, which is very casual and perhaps 
not in the tone of a cookbook, but whatever floats your boat. Next, let's change the tone to something more confident and we get something like the below. Dough is an incredibly versatile mixture of flour, water and other carefully selected ingredients that serves as a solid foundation. So it kind of made the whole text a bit longer and I'm not sure if we can really tell that a piece of text about dough is going to be confident or not, but it's definitely a lot less casual and I see it's trying to be a bit more elaborate than the previous two versions. All right, let's finish off with our last option, which is professional. And this time we get a response which is much shorter, but straight to the point. So if I were to say anything about it, I would say it is professional because you can't really tell a specific um, tone to it. It's neither casual nor very serious. It's just uh, what you see is what you get kind of explanation of what dough is. Now let's move on to simplifying and summarizing our text. So for this purpose, I am going to navigate myself to Wikipedia and find a bit of text about starch. So I'm going to grab that fairly complicated piece of chemical information into Notion AI and paste it in. And yes, I don't, I don't find it easy at all. I mean, it's starch or amylum is a polymeric carbohydrate consisting of numerous glucose units joined by glycosidic bonds. This poly... See, I can't, I can't even pronounce this stuff. So let's ask Notion AI to simplify it for me. So what I'll do is select all the text and click simplify language. And hopefully I'll be able to understand better what we're talking about here. And here we go. Starch, also known as amylum, is a type of carbohydrate made up of glucose units joined together. It is produced by green plants as a way to store energy. Starch is commonly found in staple foods like wheat, potatoes, corn, rice and cassava. Right, much more understandable at least to me. So I'm quite pleased with that. And what we can do is uh, either insert this new text below what we already have or replace the selection. So I think replacing selection will be the right thing to do here because it's going to be easier and more accessible to my readers. and. Since this text is a little bit long, what I'll want to do is actually select the whole thing and summarize it. So I'll click the summarize button and see what happens. And that way we get all this text summarized into four lines of text, which is great. The original text is not much longer than that, so uh, I will tell you that I've tried this tool for longer texts, even a whole article and asked it to summarize into a couple of sentences and it did a really good job of it. So instead of skimming through a piece of text, you can ask Notion AI to do the job for you and give you an accurate representation of that text within a couple of lines, which is very useful in my opinion. Right, I think the video is getting a bit lengthy at this point and I don't want to create episodes of 20 plus minutes. So what we'll do is we'll cut this one short and we'll come back to the list of features in Notion AI next week, where I'll show you a couple more tricks, a couple more features, and we'll draw a diagram and a pie chart and many more fun things. So stay tuned, um, like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. I'll see you soon.